Welcome back, guys. We did FD. We did PD last time. Going for FD this time. FD has been the newest department updated. And they've got an awesome file script that's just been implemented by 600 and his team. So we will be sure to check this out again. All the different things. Hats. Glasses. Biomass. And be sure to go back to the PD video and watch that. It's got a lot of basics in it. Which I won't be running through this video. But, yeah, here we are. I already got the ladder spawned. Again, vehicles are here. Change rolls over here. If you're going to you get an FD. Don't need any more than that. So we got all our cars. Tanker. Ladder. An engine. I'm going to roll in the ladder. And we'll switch to the engine a bit later. So we will go over there. We can put it in the base just by pressing these and the doors will open. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to jump in. See what we can get on the cab. Obviously it's shift to press and open the cab again. But they only have the CAD and search database. Which they really shouldn't have a search database. But we'll just have the CAD for now. So we can show you quite a simple one. Which is just a dumpster fire. Just to get the mechanics behind it. Then we'll respond to a larger fire. So you can see on the map. It's down in the corner. All I do is 50. If you are in a multiplayer server. You can hold down V. And you'd be able to talk into the mic. Because I'm just playing a single player at the minute. I cannot do that. But as you've seen from other videos I've done, you'll see the little radio icon appear in the corner. Sirens and lights are the same. They have also got an extra function, which is happens if you press G. Which is just an additional siren. You can see down on our right, we've got active fires and they are gradually spreading. So the longer you take to get down there, the more fires you'll have. Obviously we've just got dumps of fires, so there won't be too many. But if you're responding to a building fire, you will have quite a lot more than you really want. Uh, we are arriving on scene. Luckily, it wasn't too far away. Turn the sirens off. And there is our fire. So, we have currently got 10 active fires on there. We go to the trunk, which in this case, that is on the side. All our fire stuff's here. We won't need all of it. I'm just going to get a water hose. As you can see, we've got a thousand litres of water at the minute. It will also be in the bottom right. So, if we right click, we can then aim. Left click, we can point the fire. So, at the minute, we've just got it on this nozzle, which is our widespread nozzle. If I press H, I can change it to direct attack and aim. And as you can see, I'm gradually putting the fires out.
and that's it. So let's get rid of the hose, run back up, do the symbol again, and put them away. So that one was quite a simple one. That's us cleared. If it doesn't clear straight away, go to active and you can clear yourself off it. Obviously, if you're adding to a call, press responding and that will get you on the call. But that is us done. There are trees blocking the road calls, but they're currently broken. Trees are indestructible at this time, so I would highly recommend not accepting them. But once they become available again, I will show you quickly how to go through those and add it to the uh, Now, I'm just going to show you what it's like responding to a structure fire. So there's two types of structured fires, there's structure fire and structure fire that's been trapped. So I'm going to show you the structure fire that we've been trapped. I'm going to do uh, slash your name again and scroll to your fire system number three. So we are going to accept that. And have a look at where it is on the map. All the way in suburbs west. We got a good response. Get out there. As you can see, it's got a lot on it at the minute. So I'm just gonna hide the information window so I can see you properly. And I will see you there. Just where I haven't seen, I can tell what house it is just from all the smoke. So, uh, I'm going to show you a bit more of the advanced stuff here. So, for starters, we want to make sure we don't run out of water. So, I'm going to grab a supply hose. This is very important. It's a new update. You need to make sure you go from the hydrants to the ladder. As you can see, it's got arrows on. This indicates the level of water. If you have more than one vehicle, for example, if we have an engine and a ladder, you can attach a supply hose coming from the engine, go into the ladder, and the engine will supply the ladder. It's great for the tanker. The tank holds a lot of water, so if you're in the middle of nowhere, you can do it. But for now, we'll just hook up to the hydrants. Smoke will kill you in this game. So make sure to put on your SCBA. We'll stop it killing you. And we're going to grab one of our water hoses. So we'll put that in. And we're going to run back up to the door. And we'll press 1 to drop it right there. So that's ready for us. So there is a few ways to open the door. You've got your fire, which is your halogen. Which will just open the door. Me, I like to try and show it off a bit. So you can use your axe or your chainsaw. I like to pull out the axe. So, we'll go out to the door, left click, right click again, and our door's gone. So if I press 1, it will hide it. I can pick up my nose again. What we'll do is we'll have a quick look around, see if we can see anyone. The 
there's no one in the bathroom. Just gonna drop this here. Have a look in this room just in case. And here is our victim. So what we can do is we can pick him up. Roll the crouch. And we will get them out of the house. Again, if you're playing multiplayer like I often do, you have medics on standby. So you'll just drop them over to them. And they can take over. For this, we'll request transport a bit later on. Once we've got the fire under control. So let's get back to our hose. Again, H to change the module. And we can start putting out the fire. Fire does spread, which is quite nice. That's more realism. Smoky, not foggy. So what we can do is we can go back to the ladder. We can grab a fan. What we'll do is we'll point it to go outside. Set that up the wrong way. Anyway, you can set it up. For now we're just going to continue attacking this fire. See, it does get chaotic. This is why it's quite nice if you have more than one person on. They can take care of it. I've let it get a bit out of control. So it's going to take me a lot longer to do that. So I will get back with you once I've finally got it under control.
Yeah. And there's our remaining fires. So this is a great way to show you how we use it up. So you can set outriggers. You just click on the covers at the back. I'm not going to. We will climb this quickly. So to control the ladder. You go here. W to move it up. A to move it across. B to extend it. If you press shift, you can then interact with everything on here. I'm going to close out of this because I'm going to use the ladder control at the top. So we're just going to climb the ladder all the way to the top. We'll use the ladder control up here just so I can see. What I'm fighting against fire is a bit bad, so we'll try and extend as far as we can. We'll turn on our water. So I'm gonna go to the left. So you can go up and down with the nozzle as well. I have a feeling I've hit the max. I can do that crashing into a pole. So we're just going to use a nozzle. That's us, that side down. Let's try and get... It has said we're out, but we're just going to finish fighting the fire for now. If you are struggling with this, you can use a normal ladder, which I will show you after this fires up. So that is everything done. We'll climb down there. If you're feeling lazy, you can right click and it will stop you making fire and you can run a lot faster. So, under rescue, you've got your ladder, so you can set this up. So, first scroll wheel, will extend, you press it again, it's a bit finicky, you can rotate it, you press it again, you can start to rotate it down. I lose careful, so make sure you set it up, lean up against something, and it will stay stationary up against that. So we can now just climb off the building. And you can see everything's out now. Pick it up. We've got a little pick up. We're going to something quickly I want to show you that we should have done earlier a bit. Let's see if we grab. Uh, hydrogen this time. Still works with the axe. You can smash out windows. That will just help ventilate the room a bit. So we can do that. Get the ladder back ready. Let's reset. And that will reset all the ones on that side. What you need to do have to take control of the ladder. And put it back down. I will turn the water off in a little bit.
We press this button, it will lock it in place. So let's go and detach our hoses. Let them strong. Take off our SBA because you won't be able to drive with that on. Also turn off the water because I forgot to do that. So we are gonna go back to the station and get the engine out. I'm gonna cheat and of what to start. Alright, so let's get our engine out. It is the newest addition to the fire department. I haven't really set up lights for it yet, but these basic ones will do for now. So we'll save and exit. This one has loads more light bolts on it, so you can have this in the middle of the scene and loads of different appliances coming off it. And this will take and supply every single one. So we are just going to wait for an MVA. Like a vehicle accident, or again, we can spawn it in. So we will get that set up. Once this next one disappears. We should see our mission we want pop up. Hopefully. There it is. So we will accept that one. So we will head over there. It's not too far. I will show you some how we control the traffic, how we get people out. basics of what an FD unit can do. Obviously if you have EMS on a multiplayer server, you'd want to get them down here and for them to actually treat the patient. But for now... Looks of it, we've already got PD up. They've already given us a quarter, which is something I didn't know about. We don't tend to see them that often just because we're always on the multiplayer so we'll get PD down here so they will actually go and grab their phones and set them out I'm not going to worry too much about doing that be about rescuing people so great one to use if you're playing nice mode scene lights you can set them up and they will give you a whole load more lights but for now, all you really need is spreaders. Spreaders will let you get into a car door that's not open. Like this person over here. Right click, aim for it, hold your right. So again, let's right click, hold left click, and it will drag, open it up. So I'm going to quickly put that away. What we're going to do is we're going to grab our med bag. So we can then interact. We can inspect the patient. This is something you need when we leave up to the EMS unit. So we will see what is wrong with them. They are all good. I'm going to put the neck colour on. They've been in the accident. Makes sense to do. And we will request this structure. 
because that's all little we can do in a single while. Normally we'd take the EMS and let him do it. We'll request transport that one as well. And yeah, that's the basics of being an FT. Yeah. Obviously you'll get more fires and everything else. And be part of loads of scenes. PD has the fastness calls and the bits. But for now, that's all from FD. I'm going to drive back to the station. But I will see you for the EMS video. See you then.